be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, click the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos. Hello, my name is Patrice Fisher. Please stay tuned for my virtual harp class, teaching you how to play and improvise over my composition, Tai Chi Cycling. We will learn some patterns that you can use to recognize and easily play the 2-5 chord progression. You can go to my website, patricefisher.com, to purchase the written music. This class is sponsored by the Harp Gathering, the New Orleans chapter of the American Harp Society, the Louisiana Division of the Arts, and the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation. My name is Patrice Fisher, and I'm going to teach you one of my original tunes today. It's called Tai Chi Cycling. And I'm also going to teach you about the 2-5 harmonic progression and how to improvise on this tune. First, I'm going to play through the tune for you so you can hear how it sounds. Tai Chi cycling starts with an opening vamp. It's in the 147 rhythm or a second line rhythm that's very popular in New Orleans and in many jazz songs. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. left hand is going to play 4 2 1 on your lowest D uh, string D A D 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 when you play that last note your right hand is going to echo it the chord. First time you play the vamp, the highest note in your right hand is D. The second time you play the vamp, the highest note in your right hand is F. The third time you play the vamp, the highest note in your right hand is A. The fourth time you play the vamp, the highest note in your right hand is the high D. So A, D, left hand D, A, D, and fill up the chord with your right hand. A, D, D, A, highest note F, highest note A, So let's play that vamp together. A, D, D, A, D. A, D, D, A, F. A, D, D, A, A. A, D, D, A, high D. We're 
we're playing in 4-4, four, four, so I'm going to count to 4, and then let's play it together. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'll count one, two, one, two, three. One more time. One, two, one, ready, go. cycling is based on a motive that repeats over different chord progressions. Um, the motive is this. A, D, C, A, G, A. A, D, C, A, G, A. It starts after the after you play the vamp four times, you're gonna play it one more time to lead into the melody. Let's try that one more time. Here's with the opening vamp and how it leads into the first motive. section has the same motive, A, D, C, A, G, A, but this time the chord is going to change to a G minor, G, G, G. First D, now a G chord, G, left hand, that uh, should coincide with the first note of your right hand motive. And then an empty measure of just harmony together. And you're going to go back to the D chord. So two chords two times D chord, one time G chord, back to the D chord. And melody is the same every time, A, D, C, A, G, A. the A section of Tai Chi Cycling. We're going to learn the melody of the B section of Tai Chi Cycling. It starts with the same motive that's in the A section. A, D, C, A, G. The A section, remember, A, D, C, A, G, A. We're going to build on that motive a, D, C, A, G, A, B, A, G. 
So we're going to go up and down from A, cross over our thumb to F, F, E, D. That's the first half of the B section. Starts with the motive A, D, C, A, G. Up and down from A, A, B, A, G. Cross over to F with your thumb, F, E, D. One more time. A, D, C, A, G. A, B, A, G, F, E, D. The second half of the B section steps down from F to C. F, E, D, C, D. So we are going to play a break at the end. A break is uh, when the rhythm stops and there's a rest at the end. So F, E, D, C, D, C, D, C, D, C, D. F, E, D, C, D, C, D, C, D, C, D. So here's all of the B section. A, D, C, A, G, A, B, A, G, F, E, D. Second half. F, E, D, C, D, C, D, C, D, C, D. With the chords, it sounds like this. your left hand notes. In the B section of Tai Chi Cycling, we're going to use the 2-5 harmonic progression. The 2-5 progression is the prelude to a cadence or an ending. So if you're in the key of D minor, the 2 chord is E. It starts on the second degree of a D scale, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the A is the 5 chord. So the 2-5 progression means the 2 chord E, it's E minor 7 with a flat 5, and to A, the 5 chord, and back to D. So the 2-5 progression usually leads back to the 1 chord, and it's usually some kind of an ending, but you can also use it to temporarily depart from the main key D minor and travel through some neighboring keys outside the tonality for a measure or two. Um, this gives it a harmonic excitement. So the two in D is E, the five is A, but when we get to the B section, we're going to play a two chord of G minor, the five chord of C, but now we're in the key of F. So G minor, C7, F, is a 2, 5, 1 in the key of F. G minor, C7, F. But in a 2, 5 progression, the 1 chord becomes the 2 chord in the next cycle of 2, 5s. So G minor, 
C, F. F is now the two chord. And B flat is the five chord. And E minor, seven flat five, is the one chord. So G minor, C7, F, B flat. One chord of a B flat, five chord would be E minor, seven flat, five. And that also happens to be the two chord in D minor. So we're, we depart from D minor by doing a two chord, G minor to a C chord, five in F. And then we go to F as a two chord play a B flat as a five chord, and that leads to E minor. That E minor becomes the two chord to the five chord A, and it leads us back to D minor. Now that might sound uh, confusing, but it, as I said, it can lead you away from the key and also back to the key. So. Here are the chords of the B section, G minor to C7, F to B flat, E minor flat 5 to A7, and end on D minor, which it, the 2-5 progression led us back to the one chord of D minor. You can use inversions to play the B section, and then you only need to change one note. An inversion is playing the notes of the chord, but in a different order. So a G minor chord is G, B, D. A C7 chord is C, E, G, B flat. If you take the common notes, which are G and B, so G chord G, B, D, C chord C, E, G, B. So we're going to take the two common notes, G and B, and just change one note with our thumb. Instead of playing a D, when we play the second chord, going to bring our thumb down a step and play C. Now this is an easy trick that you can use to play many 2-5 progressions. Play the 2 chord as um, in root position, which means the root is G is on the bottom. But play the 5 chord in the second inversion which means the G is on the bottom of the C chord, so G, B, C. And if you want to just play the pattern, play a triad, all skips, and drop your thumb. The second group in the 2-5 progression is an F to B flat. So we can play that, use that same trick uh, in pattern to play the F chord, F, A, C, and drop our thumb to B flat and play F, A, B flat. So G, B, D, G, B, C. Then the second group of chords in the 2-5 progression, F, A, C, F, A, B. And if you notice the roots of our chords going down is going from a G chord to an F chord, and then the third group in the 2-5 progression is E. So for the E to A7, you can play E, G, B flat. Drop your thumb one step to the A, E, G, A. And then we end up on D back to the beginning. So, G, let's play together. One, 
two, three, go. B, D, G, B, C, F, A, C, F, A, B flat, E, G, B flat, E, G, A, and then we end up on the one chord. So our 2-5 progression moves through the chords. Each two chord will go down a step. And if you want to think of it as moving the top note down one, then moving the bottom note down, top note down, bottom note down, top note down, and end on D minor. And this is a way you can use inversions to play the 2-5 progression more easily. If you played it in root position, which means all of the chords are in the, the order with the root of the chord on the bottom, you're going to jump around a lot. G minor to jump down a fifth to C, jump up a fourth to F, jump down a fifth to B, jump up a fourth to E, jump down a fifth to A, and then jump down a fourth again to D. So we can save ourselves a lot of uh, motion by just drop your thumb, drop your third finger, drop your thumb, drop your third finger, drop your thumb, and end on D. Here's how it sounds with the melody. Tai Chi cycling is similar to the blues progression with a 2-5 harmonic progression added on the end. First, A section is exactly like a blues progression. The one chord D, we're going to play it four times. Then we go to the four chord G minor two times. D chord again two times. So four D's, D, D, D minor, two G minors, and two D minors. So let's improvise on the first half, the A section. We're only going to use chord notes in our right hand. So six out of the eight measures are D minor D F A. One, two, ready, go. on the first half of Tai Chi cycling. When you get to the second half, you have that 2-5 progression. You can make your life complicated and jump around playing all the chords in root position. Or you can drop your start with a G minor chord, drop your thumb to C, 
play an F chord, drop your third finger to F, drop your thumb to B, drop your third finger to E, drop your thumb to A, drop your third finger to D. So I'm going to improvise on the second half of Tai Chi cycling with the two five chord progression. You only play in chord notes. try it I'll play the chords for you one two ready only the second half go one more time start with a G minor chord to a C chord how you improvise on the B section of Tai Chi cycling. So let's put, let's put those two sections together and improvise only on the harmony. One, two, one, two, ready, go. play the chords for you and you can try. One, two, one, two, ready, go. thinking of the harmony in Tai Chi cycling. Now let's try some melodic ideas for improvisation on Tai Chi cycling. One major concept in this piece is a motive that repeats. You can make up your own motive and you can play it all the way through the piece. Something like this. I'm going to play the regular motive of the melody. That's... Let's play it all the way through. your own motive. Um, take a few minutes and think about it. I'm going to play this one. A, F, D, C. Just all the way through the same thing. One, two, three, four, A, F, D, C. Thank you. 
motive will sound better if it uses notes of the D chord because mo most of the chords in the piece are D. So I will play the harmony for you. M make up a motive of any one or two measures is good and just play it over the, the harmony that I play for you. You can put the video on pause while you make up your motive and I'll play the harmony for you to play along. Here's the harmony. One, two, one, two, three, four. we can make this piece more interesting is to change the rhythm on the B section. We have that second line rhythm on the A section. get to the B section, let's just play the top note and the bottom note instead of this rhythm. Let's play a bossa nova. play the top note. We're still going to drop our thumb every other measure and drop our third finger in the alternating measures. G, D, G, D, G, C, G, C, F, C, F, C, F, B, F, B, E, B, E, B, E, A, E, E, A, D. A, D, A, and end on D. with me. I'll play the rhythm for you and you can improvise only in the B section with a bossa nova rhythm. One, two, ready, go. G, D, G, G, C, G, F, C, F, F, B, F, E, B, E, A, E, D, A, D, one, two, ready, go. Let's play the whole piece. 
the first half, we'll do the second line rhythm. One, two, and three, four. The second half, we'll do the bossa nova rhythm. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two ready, go. for you and you try improvising. One, two, ready, go. using the rhythm on Tai Chi cycling. The way that you end Tai Chi cycling is to play the ending vamp, which is just D and C. also take this ending break and improvise over the rhythm. It's just a vamp on D, a D minor chord. So When you feel confident, play the ending rhythm with one hand and improvise with the other. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Progression is very commonly used in pop music and jazz, especially to add interest. A tune like Autumn Leaves, you can use the exact same um, pattern to play the 2 5 progression that we used in Tai Chi cycling. <clears throat> it's usually in um, E minor and to play it in D minor, we'd have to start on a D, 
D, E, F, B flat. And then your pattern goes down a step starting on C, D, E, A. And then go down a step. B flat C, D, G. And then I have a little trick to play the last um, part of the motive without changing any levers. A, E, G, F. So here's the melody in D minor. D, E, F, B. C, D, E, A. B flat C, D, G. Then my little trick. A, E, G, F. And we're going to use the exact same pattern that we did in Tai Chi cy Cycling. Start with a D in your fourth finger of your right hand. G chord. Drop your thumb. Starts on a D in the melody. Now start with a C. Now start with a B. One more time. to use that 2-5 pattern to play autumn leaves. Let's try a free jazz improvisation on D minor. It's a good way to start Tai Chi cycling. You don't have to do it. You can start with a vamp. But if you're playing background music or music for therapy for someone who's not feeling well, it can be a good way to start completely out of time and at very spacey and thinking of the D minor chord, just like we did with the ending, putting it the ending in rhythm, we can do the beginning and take it out of rhythm. So just experiment, think very spacey. sound effects. Very calm leave spaces in between. try to do about four groups of those free jazz improvisations and then start the band. So first I'm going to do Free jazz improvisation followed by the vamp. Four sets of each. And 
I find that's a good way to start Tai Chi cycling. It kind of builds up a momentum before you start the melody and go into structure. I'm going to end this class by playing the whole piece through um, and improvising on some of the ideas that we talked about. I'll start with a free jazz improvisation completely out of time in four groups of um, with large spaces in between. And I'll follow that by the opening vamp four times. I'll follow that by the melody two times. Then I will try to improvise on the harmony only using the chord notes or mostly using the chord notes. Then I will play it through improvising on the melody. When I finish that, I'll play the melody again and use the ending break to improvise on the rhythm. So I hope this gives you some ideas and I hope you can determine which thing that I am doing so it can give you ideas of how to improvise on your own on this and other pieces.
Thanks for listening to our music today. You can buy the written music for these and my other original tunes at my website, patricefisher.com. We would like to thank the Harp Gathering, especially Denise and Michael Group Verban, for their support, as well as the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation and the Louisiana Division of the Arts. This recording would not be possible without the support of all these organizations.